Well, it is among the scams hitting Kentucky. Anna, have you received a phone call claiming somebody claiming to be from Mega Millions saying you won $200,000? What happens next, though, and how you get that should alarm you. Joining me to talk about that scam and many others, Mindy Eaton with the Better Business Bureau. Thank you so much. Let's talk Mega Millions. First of all, A, did you play it? Right. <laughs> That's the That's first question. <laughs> but this is a specific thing that happened locally. Tell us how yes. it played out. We actually had a local consumer. Um, he received a call from somebody named John who said he was with Mega, Mega Millions and that he had won you know, almost $200,000. All he had to do was go down to Walmart and um, wire over $495 in order to get the, you know, all the money. Plus, he won a car and free gas and So that's when alarm years. bells went off. This consumer didn't fall for it, which is the good thing. Right, yeah. As soon as, you know, he called us. You have to go to Walmart and wire me was money. Was kind of wondering, you know, is this for real? And unfortunately, it's not. So they reported it to they you. They did report it and to And this us. is a good thing that we want to let people know when they're watching, too. We always talk about these scams. If one of these happens to you, call you all and let you know. And the more specific you can be, the better. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, call us and report it or visit our website at BBB.org. We have Scam Tracker, which you can report all the information there as well. Okay, so that's a good thing to know. All right, the next one, let's talk about fake loans. How does that one work? Yeah, and this was another consumer that actually reported this to us. Um, they were told that they pre-qualified for this $5,000 loan, um, but they had to purchase $450 worth of Google Play gift cards before they could actually so receive the So there's always the a catch. When you get that catch, it makes no sense, really. Yes, because here's the thing with loans. You shouldn't have to pay money up front to get money. And also, you know, he never had to go through any application process or any credit checks or anything like that. You know, if you're getting a loan, you're going to have to go through Big red days. flags on that one. Card offers. Tell us about fake card offers. Yeah. So somebody else received a phone call from a local area store that said, you know, you qualify for this uh, store credit card we have because you're such a good customer. So the guy shops there all the time, so he didn't think anything of it. They asked him for the last four digits of the social security number, uh -huh. uh, his name, mailing address, you know, other personal information like that. So he didn't feel very that good didn't about sound, that. That doesn't seem right. Yeah, he called the store, found out we don't offer that. All right, very good. So smart consumer. Yes. One for the consumer. We love that. <laughs> Phony refunds. Yeah, so this is a twist on a scam, a scam of a scam, if you will. So basically, these people are calling, claiming to be from Microsoft or Apple, Dell, other big tech companies, saying that, you know, you've been scammed in the past, so we're here to refund your money that you've been scammed on. So then they start asking you for your personal information, bank accounts, so security numbers, things like that, to try to get you your money back. Well, that's from tricky to say scam, from a scam. Even though they're trying to scam you now with the information you're going to give them. They go to all links, don't Absolutely. they? All right, mystery shopper. So this sounds like a great deal. You know, you just have to, um, you know, go out and shop and get paid to shop. So you get a check in the mail, you're told to deposit it and wire money over to somebody else and you're supposed to rate the wiring service. That's the shopping that you're supposed to do. Unfortunately, what you're going to do is you're going to deposit that check into your account. That check's going to bounce and you're going to be out whatever money you've wired over because the thing with wires, once the money's gone, it's gone. You know, it's interesting because every, every you know, month you all send us all of these different scams and I'm always amazed at just how you know, some of them are out there, but some of them you go, boy, just how tricky people can be. Absolutely. You know, even the, uh, the simple ones that, you know, you think, you know, well, you know, you shouldn't fall for it. But at the same time, I mean, if you're not paying attention or if you're panicked or, you know, it'll catch you off guard. Yeah, absolutely. And anybody can be scammed. All right, very good. Well, thank you as always. Always good information. If you'd like to contact the Better Business Bureau, the phone number you can call, 583 65 46. And of course, you can also visit their website at bbb.org. Very good. Thank you so much, Mindy. Always appreciate it. Well, there.